An investigation this morning after police in O'Fallon, Missouri, shoot and kill someone. And it started with shots being fired outside of the city's hall and its clock tower. And the power of two is Chris Renier is in O'Fallon, Missouri, where this all happened. Authorities have not released a lot of details just yet about what exactly happened in this case. We do know that everything began late yesterday afternoon with a suspect firing shots at the clock tower here just feet from O'Fallon City Hall. It appears that there is damage to three of the four sides of the clock tower. And we can show you some video of the damage to the clock tower here. A resident who lives near City Hall telling us they did hear gunshots in this area late yesterday afternoon. Police say they don't know why the individual was firing shots off the clock tower. We do know that police were able to get a description of the vehicle that authorities tell us the suspect was driving. We're told found officers tried to pull over the vehicle, but the driver failed to stop, and that's when a pursuit started. It ended near Spring Court in unincorporated St. Charles County. The public information officer for the O'Fallon Police Department telling us that it is still too soon in the investigation to go into details about the actual officer-involved shooting itself, but police do confirm that the suspect is dead. Here's what police did tell us about the incident. We had a report that said the subject was firing a weapon at the clock tower and our officers responded to the area and then located a vehicle that fit that description and then a pursuit was initiated when the vehicle failed to yield. St. Charles County critical incident team has been activated and they will handle the investigation from here. Uh, the, but everything was started in O'Fallon and it was involving O'Fallon officers. That critical incident team is a multi-jurisdictional unit which conducts investigations of high level and officer involved incidents Police have not released the identity or the age of the suspect in this case. In fact, at this point, we don't even know from authorities whether the suspect was a man or a woman. Reporting on Fowl, Missouri, I'm Chris Renier.